Press 2 to change first. Message received at 10.08 a.m. Yes, my phone number is Sherwood Pine 7807. I'd like to report a problem with the phone number of Sherwood 57832. Just getting a an error message or an intercept. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat the current message. Press message deleted. Press 3 for advanced options. Welcome back to the central office. So the phone man telecom and the central office telnet. This is kind of an unexpected video, but that message you just heard was was actually myself, but is what would happen if the switching equipment did not call or did not do what I call a drop ticket, which I use that as a saying for um, finding out a problem because most times I'll get an email um, from the GDMS stating there is a problem with either a number or something within the switching system. In this case, it was not. It was something I kind of discovered by accident. That's where a person would pick up the phone. One of the subscribers would simply call 611 and leave a message just like that. So my job is to go into the switching equipment and figure out what the problem is, which is what I'm about to do. I'm starting the troubleshooting process right now um, and see what we got. I know what the number is. It's being reported. I'm not sure if there's a problem with some of the numbers, or it's just one. So right now I'm going to the interface of that particular switch to go to the registration of that particular number, which in this case it's Sherwood 57832. And I'm going to check a setting. All right, so far, it says it's registered. Then I looked at what it's registered to before, and it says registered there as well. And I'm looking inside. Okay, that says it's registered too. Everything checks out there. All right. I'm going to put this video on pause. Hey, okay, I made the attempt to call it again, and the attempt failed. So, I need to check out, troubleshoot a couple of more things. I'm going to check another device here. Nope, wrong.
All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, it's still registered there. So, now what I have to do is I'm going to do something else. I'm going to check a couple of more of these settings. That setting's good. That setting's good. That setting's good. All right. Um, if all else fails... I will take the troubled phone number, delete it. This is a very fast process. This, this is what I do if all else fails. Um, and just put it back up with the same phone number, same everything. It just acts as a new phone number and no one else notices the difference. All right, so now I re-add it. Okay, I push save. And there's a few settings I have to change in here. I don't need voicemail with this particular thing. I hit save again. And then to make this thing stick, I apply changes. So what that does is gives me new credentials. Oh, so I've got to go grab the password and take it to the device that it's registered to. All right, so now I'm at the device, which you can see there. Now I'm going to hit save. Confirmation is yes. So I want to see what happens with that. Now, as you can see, right there, right away, it's idle. That means it registered. Now, got to change settings again. The thing when you're doing this to try to get a registration, when you're doing all these numbers, everything must be per batum exactly. Because if you don't, you will not get registration. That's why copy and paste is always good.
Actually, before I do that, Gonna change the setting back very temporarily. All right, that should be good. Now, pick up the business office line and call that number. Okay, that call went through. So that part of it is now deemed working and repaired. All right, so at any rate, that's what happens when we have to repair a line. It happens once in a while. This is Greg Carberry of Southern Phone Man Telecom. I thank you for watching.